I'm Jared Lindner, Tackle Warehouse Pro, and one of the things I do a lot out on the tour is uh, throwing a lot of football head jigs. And uh, there's basically, you know, as many ways as you can think of to throw one, that's, I mean, it's endless possibilities of, of how to throw a football head jig, but some key features to look at that I've, uh, that I've come to learn over the past couple of seasons is main body points that dump off into the river channel. Like right here, we're sitting on this, on this big point and the river channel is actually just adjacent to us and any time of year it'll hold fish you know pre-spawn post-spawn winter time summer time there's always going to be fish around here and a football head jig allows you to cover the point or creek channel ledge or whatever you're fishing real effectively and you know it, it'll draw bigger bites than say a drop shot or or a, you know a shaky head worm um, Bigger fish tend to feed on crawfish, and uh, and just by you know fishing big fish baits, you're going to capitalize on on b bigger opportunities. Um, there, like I said, you know to begin with, there's several ways to fish it. Uh, my favorite way is to is to make a long cast about to where the break is or the structure that you're looking at. You know you find it on your sonar, rock piles or stumps or a lot of times it'll just be a you know a, a slowly sloping point that'll hold fish because of the bait and and things that are around the the river channel that they move up and feed on um, but i like to really give the rod a hard snap and it's basically making the fish react to it so you know rather than dragging the jig which can be effective you know when the fish after a cold front or say they're getting a lot of pressure, just sometimes a slow methodical drag will entice those fish to, you know, they, they just want to move it out of the area and they'll just come over and, and eat it. Um, but like I said, my favorite way is to just make the fish react to it and uh, it seems to be the most productive for me. You know, it allows me to fish, find the fish quick and figure out where they're positioned at on the point rather than dragging around the whole thing. I'm trying to see how how deep they are and basically you know what they're holding on um what i like throwing my football jigs on is is usually 15 pound fluorocarbon um it's just it has better, better sensitivity and low stretch on a long cast and i feel like you get more bites um you know i'm throwing a seven foot five power rod it's a 705 pal jig rod with a uh, Revo 7 to 1 gear ratio and the reason I like a 7 to 1 is because a lot of times you're, you're making real long casts and you know you hook that fish way out there it's got a lot of room to run and you want to be in control of that fish um, you know right here I'm throwing a half ounce football head jig it seems like in the fall in the fall I throw a lot, a lot of like three quarter, even one ounce football head jigs just to get that reaction strike that I was talking about earlier. But a half ounce usually will work, you know, anywhere you go um, is pretty much a standard size. It's about the average size of a crawfish. And, uh, you know, it just, it allows you to, to make it, make it more simple. Um, you know the one ounce and the three quarter ounce jig is is kind of a kind of a specific type of fishing you're going to do um, requires a whole different line of rod and and even pound test um, but oh man i got bit um, you know the colors the colors that i prefer throwing on a football head jig is any shade of green pumpkin um, green pumpkin and orange and uh, the other go-to bait that I have is a brown and purple with a green pumpkin trailer I've caught them from coast to coast with with either the green pumpkin orange and brown and purple and a green pumpkin trailer of any kind you know the pack across the Yamamoto's the chigger cross whatever whatever you have confidence in will work um, seems like in the winter time you can throw a lot of pork and it'll actually get you more bites just because of the texture and the way it falls, um, seems to be you know when it when it gets the water temp gets below 50, I pull out my pork, and 
you know, add that on the back of my jigs <laughs> and uh, it seems to be a lot more effective. So, you know, jig fishing is, is kind of a learned science, you know, it, it's not something that you can just go out, take one out of a package, throw it out there and just expect to catch all kinds of fish. You have to spend time and, and get confidence in throwing it and once you do, you're going you're gonna to make your fishing in the fall, spring, summer, any time of year, you're going to make it a lot more productive.